Hi, this is Josh with Ska. Welcome to the Dillinger Labs Death From Below video manual. In this playlist, you'll find short form tutorials and walkthroughs for all of the features of the DFB, so you can get the most out of this incredibly versatile Ska Pro wireless subwoofer. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the physical characteristics and tech specs of the DFB, and I'll do a quick flyover of all of the DFB's features. Death From Below is a dual driver, battery powered wireless subwoofer that can be used for personal listening, parties, events, mobile DJing, live music performance, home theater systems, and more. Rather than using a single 12 or 18 inch driver design, DFB has two 8 inch drivers, each with its own 72 watt amplifier for 144 watts of total power. This optimizes the battery life, maximizes the volume up to 122 dB SPL, and allows for a more compact and portable design. It also has dual tuned bass reflex ports, which extend the bass all the way down to 25 Hertz. DFB clocks in at only 34 pounds or 15.5 kilograms. The cabinet is made out of 12 millimeter birch plywood with doubled up sidewalls for extra support. Four lightweight vanes protect the drivers from damage while enabling free airflow. Do not lift your DFB by the vanes as this will result in the vanes coming out. Instead, lift by the monkey grip handles on the sides. It has four 25 millimeter thick honeycomb rubber feet to level and stabilize the DFB on uneven surfaces, and these also serve to isolate vibrations. On the back of the DFB, there are four additional rubber bumpers, so you can tip up the DFB for easy storage and transport. It has a one and three eighths inch top hat for speaker poles. This is especially helpful when using DFB with sound box speakers. DFB's battery is internal and can be charged from the front. You can run off of battery power alone or charge while using the DFB. Death From Below's battery can run for up to 40 hours at normal listening levels and up to 11 hours at full volume. The battery only takes two and a half hours to charge to full from empty. The front panel has a power button, which you can hold down to power on or off the DFB. You can tap the power button once to check its battery life on the LED stack. And like all other SCA receivers, it has a bond button, which also doubles as a volume and mode selection knob. The LED above the bond button is the bond indicator, and the LED above the power button will display whether you're bonded to a SCA or SCA Pro transmitter, green for SCA and red for SCA Pro. In addition to displaying battery life, the LED stack also displays different customizable settings. Here you can select one of six custom EQ presets, one that's tailor-made for use with Soundbox speakers, three audio routing modes, and six phase and time delay settings. SCA wireless audio is what makes DFB work. SCA is a wireless audio standard that sends 48 kilohertz, 16-bit wireless stereo audio. SCA is 100% Bluetooth free and 100% Wi-Fi free so you'll never have to pair with the DFB or connect to a Wi-Fi network. With SCA, you get better audio quality than Bluetooth and better range and lower latency than Bluetooth or Wi-Fi audio. You can feed DFB wireless audio from any SCA or SCA Pro transmitter, or you can set up a Nadia network with Bluetooth and feed DFB from Soundbox 3, 4, or Soundbox Go speakers, or any other SCA Nadia hub speaker. With SCA Pro transmitters like Danny, you have up to 50 meters of reliable range. Akiko and Talissa SCA Pro transmitters will get you up to 35 meters of range. And standard SCA transmitters like the Cassandra USB-C transmitter will get you up to 15 meters of range. In contrast, Bluetooth only has around seven meters of range for audio. When using DFB for professional applications, low latency is key. When bonded to a SCA Pro transmitter, you can send wireless audio with only 19 milliseconds of fixed latency and use up to two receivers at once. When bonded to a standard SCA transmitter, you get 36 milliseconds of fixed latency and up to four receivers. With Bluetooth, you can get up to 200 milliseconds of latency, but the latency can be even more than that when feeding more than one receiver. So not really a great option for pro audio applications. So that's an overview of the Dillinger Labs Death From Below wireless subwoofer. Continue through this playlist if you want a deep dive of all of DFB's features. 
If you want to learn more about DFB, head over to ska.com or skastore.com. And to stay up to date on all new ska products, please consider subscribing to the Ska Sound YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.